McCain, are you anywhere near downtown? Uh, sure, Chief. Why? We got reports that a gang is trying to abduct Forrest Blackwell. They've got him on top of a building near the downtown science museum. I'm on my way, Chief. Has backup been dispatched? Yes, but by the time they get there, it'll be too late. So hurry up! I really don't want to get on the wrong side of Forrest Blackwell. Hey. Uh, I need to find a blue color swapper. You see how cool that was? Dave! Dave! Whoa! A look! An awning! If this was an action movie, someone would fall onto that. Whoa! <laughs> Ow! That really smarts. Could my day get any worse? <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Merciful heavens above! Help at last! Arrest these men! Get him! That's right! You show him what for! That was a good bunch of twos! Ha! He won't soon forget that hiding! Yeah! Thank you, young man. I thought my fate was sealed. Now while I'm on duty, sir. They may have reinforcements, so we ought to leave here at once. My car should still be nearby. Sorry we're late, Chase. Not that it looks like you needed our help. Young man, I should feel a lot safer at the police station. Would you mind driving me? I'm still rather shaken. Go on. I'll call the chief and tell him you got Mr. Blackwell down safely. We'll stay here and round up the gang members. Thank you. I'm dreadfully sorry. I haven't even asked your name. I'm Chase. Chase McCain. Uh, we've never met before. Chase McCain. Well, what a tiny world we live in. You know, I was only recently talking to an acquaintance of mine about you. About all the effort you went to in arresting Rex Fury. He doesn't think Chief Dunby did that? Oh, no. Some of us have a far clearer view of those events, unmuddied by spin. Such a pity Rex got out again. Who knows what fiendish things he's up to. Yeah. So, who were those men back there? Environmental activists, no doubt. They don't care for me at all. Why don't they like you? You don't know. I thought everyone did. Simply an unfortunate misunderstanding that I have put completely behind me now. The main thing is, you're safe now. Yes. I must have a word with my security people. You're just taking the scenic route. We're here. Mr. Blackwell, ha, I am so relieved you're safe. I can barely sleep. Thank you again, Chase. You sleep during work hours? Well, uh, uh, let me take you inside. Thank you. Farewell, Chase McCain. I'm sure we will meet again. <laughs> oh, that rhyme. Natalia. I... I might, I repeat, might, need your help. I couldn't find my dad in any of Chan's other offices. So... I decided to try a salvage yard, and now I'm stuck in here. What? I was desperate. It is my dad, Chase. What if Chan catches you? That won't happen. I'm completely hidden. <gasps> hey, whose feet are sticking out from behind my curtains? Help! Natalia? Natalia! Oh. Ellie, I need a favor and the Chief cannot know about it. Name it. Natalia's in trouble at Chan's junkyard and I'm gonna need backup to get her out. Natalia Kowalski? What are you up to? It's a long story. Can you help? Sure. I know a couple of officers who don't mind going behind the Chief's back. I'll tell them to meet you outside the salvage yard, and I'll get them to bring a disguise. We don't want Chan recognizing you. Thanks, Ellie. You don't know how much this means to me. Where's my backup? You're meant to be here by now. Hey, Chase. Okay, Studsky and Clutch are here. Where's the lady in distress? Clutch, Studsky, thanks for this. Natalia's in Chan's salvage yard. The chief arrested some of his gang earlier, but he's still got a lot of heavies in there. Do you have a disguise for me? Do we ever? <laughs> 
That is perfect, Studsky. Really? They belong to our friend Huggy. He has no sense of personal space. Let's go rescue this girl. Come on! I'm gonna have to take these things off. I know those two. They're cops. You, go and warn the bus. I guess the softly, softly approach is out of the question. You ready, Studsky? I was born ready. Whoa. Ready for what? We've got to get to Natalia as fast as possible. Chan could be doing anything to get information out of her. Like giving her ice cream? What? He's not going to try to bribe her, Studsky. No, I mean I get really bad headaches from ice cream. I'd tell you anything if you threaten me with it. Especially mint chocolate. Right. Or they could make her drink loads of soda pop and she'd get trapped wind because ladies can't burp in public. My mom does that all the time. Your mom ain't no lady. Yeah. Oh, I thought of another one. They could... All right. That really isn't helping. Ooh. Ooh. A couple more cans of fuel, and I can start that generator. Look at me, I'm on a roll. Hmm, do I have enough bricks for that super build? I think I might. model was a classic. Now that is what I call a compact car. Ooh, I can use it to get up onto that pile of junk. Doggy doggy.
Close. Remember, scrapyards are dangerous places which shouldn't be played in. You hear me? Good luck getting over the grinder! <laughs> That's a subtle arrow. So, is Natalia ticklish? What? Is she ticklish? Once I got tickled so badly by a mugger that I told him the security code for my bank card. You told me he threatened you. Yeah, with more tickling. So you're really ticklish, are you? Don't even think about it, Clutch. You already know my security code anyway. You still haven't changed it from your birthday? <laughs> Duh, yeah, to my twin sisters. Teleporter built out of scrap? <sighs> if I come out the other end as a fly, I will not be happy. <sighs> oh, good. More bad guys. Well, at least my head isn't on backwards or anything. <laughs> Poor choice of words. I'll have you down in a minute. About time? Oh, sorry. I mean, thanks. I just need to find the button to lower you gently. Ah! Yeah, that wasn't it. He made me eat ice cream. Hold it! Oh. Studsky, let's make ourselves scarce before the chief shows up. See ya, Chase! Thanks, guys. And you've got to keep out of this, Natalia. I'll find your dad. I promise. I don't want to see you get hurt. Okay. Okay. Stay out of trouble. I will. Starting from now, 